So hey, what's up guys? It's B-Dog, right? This, this one's unfortunate. I do feel an obligation to do it though because of how many movies I watched. It's the worst movies of the year. Number five. Okay, so this movie is about a serial killer. Um, this isn't a very known movie. Um, I found it. I watched it. I did have a little bit of expectations because I saw Al Pacino's in it. Al Pacino's great. He's fantastic. So I'm like, this couldn't be good. And it wasn't. It was boring as all get out. The story was kind of confusing. It, you know, there, there was some emotional stuff going on. It tried to work some different story elements and tell a comparison story. And it just bungled the whole thing. So my number four. Why should I really put this one on there? Because it's kind of expected to be bad at this point. And it's... Transformers the last night and you know people will be like well you get what you get I mean you shouldn't really go in expecting well yeah but it still doesn't make the movie any less trash what what is this guy doing with this life Michael Bay what is your problem you can't get a movie right I don't get it it's just weird and all over the place I don't understand the point of where they're going with it and the dialogue is trash it tries to inject comedy where it shouldn't be. Mark Wahlberg, oh man, that was atrocious. And then there's a little kid, I, uh, oh. It's cringeworthy. Like, I don't, I try not to use that because it's a modern thing and I hate modern things. Damn it. Tried to like it and I tried to watch it, but, uh, my number three. This one is going to be controversial. Good people saying a lot of good things. I can't like this movie at all. It's called Killing of a Sacred Deer. And my problem with this movie is it's, it's really confusing in everything. You know, the, the tone, the storytelling, the characters. Uh, Colin Farrell, I think, is in it, yeah. Colin Farrell, and then there's this young and up-and-coming actor. And if you read into the story, it seems like there's supposed to be some emotional storytelling and, like, comeuppance and stuff like that. Yes, you're kind of supposed to hate Colin Farrell's character by the end, but I, I didn't. When they reveal it, they reveal it in such a weird way that I don't register it. And it's like, okay, why should I care? Because it, it, the scene is very awkward. And, like, also this movie was supposed to be a comedy, apparently. Okay. I didn't laugh once. I didn't see where there were supposed to be jokes. I, it definitely failed on that aspect. There are people that are going to say this movie's great. Fine by you, but this movie is garbage. Probably going to get a lot of the heat from this one, too. Um, number two. At least I could tell what the story was in Killing for a Sacred. Other, it doesn't tell you. Like, in order to understand what the movie was, I had to go and look up outside of the movie. I read an article on Collider, by the way, check those guys out, I like them a lot. But, I had no idea what it was supposed to be. I had a bunch of stuff flying through my head. My first one is that it's a symbolism for motherhood, you know. So I was thinking it was trying to tell a story about motherhood and getting through that. And then that, after that, I read, I thought of that like an hour through, and then I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, I don't know what's happening. You know, people will say, well, movies sometimes have different meanings for different people. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. We talk about my favorite movie of last year, La La Land. Yeah, that can have different meaning than someone else. Like... I can relate to that movie as a film enthusiast, you know, somebody who wants to break into the film industry, who wants to break into directing or writing, or who's an athlete can relate to that too, because athletics is as cutthroat, if not more, they're probably the same as film, you know, some guy who wants to be a broadcaster, someone who wants to be a famous jerk, anybody who wants to be famous and successful, like really successful, can relate to that movie. Now, the problem is that I don't know what the movie's supposed to be. I really don't. 
when I was sitting down and watching it. Because, you know, if I can't tell what the movie is, I can't understand it. And if I can't understand it, then I can't like it. That's about as simple as I can put it. My number one worst movie of the year. If you, it's my worst reviewed movie of the year. So you probably, you might already know what it is. But it's a cure for wellness. Yeah. I kind of knew it from the beginning of the year. This movie failed on so many levels. It just... It started out a little bit compelling, started going along, and I'm like, what, what's the point of telling me this story? And then it keeps going, I'm like, this is disgusting. And there was a bunch of old, naked people walking around constantly. And then there was some weird mutilation crap. You know, they didn't tell the story well, because the, the girl in there, no. I just, I, I didn't understand her point. She was just kind of there for Dane DeHaan to kind of Google over. It's just disgusting and creepy and not in a good way. So I, di I don't understand the story. I don't understand the point of them telling me this story. It doesn't come to any, like, satisfying resolution. I'm not sure what Dings DeHaan's character was supposed to be based on the ending. It's just, just a bunch of horse pucky. Well, now I can move on to my best of the year. That's a relief. It's kind of... I got kind of got that good feeling going on right now. So, so that's it for this video. Um, pro later, the day that this comes out, I'm going to have a video. Of my best, yeah. Like, comment what you thought of this video. Comment what you thought of all these movies. Hopefully, you think they're bad. But if you don't, that's okay. Please let me know. I want to have a conversation with you about it. Maybe you can help me explain to me why these movies aren't as bad. And please subscribe. And watch out for the next video I'm doing. So that's it. See you guys later. Be your dog. Out.